Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Leo this is your reading for the 14th to the 20th of September 2020 I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. I'm using the transparent tarot deck. As you can see, last week I, they were lying next to each other. Now they are lying on top of each other, like all the points meet. Because I'm going to make a film for you so that you can see how it grows and interact, each card's interacting with the other so that you get an overall picture there is six cards in total and um, I think I'm, I've, I'll keep it um, clearer uh, because if you get too much in images then it might not be so clear but it's enough cards to get your week's reading okay we open up uh, oh yes and by the way there's still a special offer on until Sunday the 13th 30 minutes for an extensive reading doesn't matter whether it's a crystal ball reading or a general reading or a romance reading for 30 minutes 35 for 30 minutes 35 euros we open the week with the Hierophant um, first of all um, this card might look similar as if nothing is really there but I tell you this much there's a lot of information so even with this deck I get new meanings and see new things well for instance first of all the higher fund means uh, a man of a mature age or a professional that you seek advice from this could also not only be your father or an uncle or an older brother but this could also mean your partner if you're hooked up or a potential partner or this could mean your spirit guide your uh, like a spiritual man a doctor a lawyer anybody from an institution or a municipality um, and the tree tops you can see the tree tops it's just un you can't see it but like in on another reading is it came out as branching out so it was getting advice on branching out let's see what it means for you then you have the three of swords you might have a loss and feel desperate oh, uh, don't everything all everything in life goes up and down we do have our positive moments good moments as well as our bad moments it is vice versa we need the light and the dark we need the Sun and the moon we need time to be active and time to rest yes and no feminine and masculine you might have had a loss 
because the Hierophant is here, so you might have been to a church gathering uh, saying your goodbyes uh, at the ceremony of uh, a bereavement. Let me put it that way. Somebody passing over to the spiritual world. Don't walk around with your you know, don't walk around with your sadness and your loss. It's not worthwhile taking your own life for it, because that's what I get from this card. Perhaps somebody stabbed you in the back, and you've um, received a loss. And you might have judicial issues going on, because the Hierophant is a man of institutions. So this could be also representing an advocate or a judge, like I said, don't worry. Don't take my word for it, but the cards never um, lie. Seek somebody's help. Seek advice from somebody, like a doctor. If you feel like this, don't wait. Or seek an older, mature friend and talk to them. Empty your heart. A problem aired is a, a problem shared is a problem aired and the load will be less heavy to carry. Please don't be silly. There's too many people that love you. So that's the second scenario. The loss, and I know what loss is. A loss could be of a job. A loss could be of a, a dear one. A loss could be also of your home. The loss could be also being uh, losing friends or thrown out of a society. Don't worry, you will make it. Believe you me. You've got the two of cup cups here. It's two people touching the cups. Yes, it is the cups. You can see the cup sign right in the top corner. So emotionally, you will get in balance if you seek help and advance. I can't stress this enough. Okay? It's no good walking around with depressive or sad thoughts or with heavy burdens. You have to ha ask help, even if it's from an institution like a hospital or welfare, to g help you pay the bills until you get back up your feet. And I tell you, this week you are going to get back upon your feet, but you must take action to apply for a job or seek help from an institution. Things aren't as bad as they seem. Air your heart. The next card we have is we have the Knight of Wands. Now you see that the Knight is taller. Uh, I've Hold on, I've got this is a, your other one of your other cards, but look, you've got the page. You might be responsible for brothers or sisters. Well, I'm not going to go there yet, because I've got the this card, and there's an other card before that card. Okay. So, but I can also see it lying next to me. So you will be getting news about a job. Um, this could be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo bringing you news, but the s ones do uh, stand for action, which is work, creativity, a job. You might actually be changing your hobby into work. Wonderful. They're, and they might be helping you. Okay. Now I've got the Queen of Swords. There you go. Now, like I said, somebody might have stabbed you in the back. At least that is what it feels like. Somebody stabbed you in the back. Let me just get this lined up because this is good news coming in. Good news. This could be your lawyer. Somebody big, powerful. Like I said, if you seek advice, could be a Gemini or could be somebody from the judicial system, an institution, that's justice, okay? A lawyer or an advocate or a judge, it will be behind you. If you seek advice from an, 
a professional person, doctor, lawyer, judge, anybody like that, or a municipality, and if you think you can't pay for uh, judicial assistance, then go to your municipality, social security, and seek help. There's always judicial help. If somebody has stolen from you, or has put knives, not literally, figuratively into your back, report them and there will be somebody around there to bring you clarity. This is the Queen of Swords, so it could be a Libra that's assisting you, but it could also be a Gemini or an Aquarius. They will cut straight through to the core and get the truth for you and seek the truth because look there is celebrations two of cups you'll be back in emotional balance and balance is also justice and that is what she will do for you or you might be meeting a Gemini and get hooked up I feel this is more to do with an inheritance um, not because of the Hierophant um, I think this is an ongoing process and the are disagreements because you've got a loss here so I think it might be an inheritance and there might be war in the family and that has to be judicially sorted out to bring back partnerships and understanding and balance now You've got the last card, and look at this. You could have been going through a separation, all right, and there could have been disagreements about a child, as we have the child here right now. Look, it's coming. If you are a man, because this is the night, this could be a child, I think a girl, coming back to daddy okay she's bringing you news an offer a cup and if I take it a little bit uh, further if you look at the child she's turned her back on her mother so the family will sort this out through communication as the Queen of Swords stands for communication you need to sort it out by talking through even with a uh, judicial help or uh, menu, um, mun institutional help like a doctor or social worker to bring the family unit back. I think you there might have been a third party. I think there was a gossiper because you've got the three swords here and you lost something. Perhaps your partner lost belief in you or you uh, believed uh, uh, didn't believe your partner anymore but this child is innocent and is honest and honesty and truth prevails and will come true there will be an offer made you will join together although she's turned her back on you for the moment at the end of the week you will join up you've got emotional balance and you've got your soulmate because the two of cups is also your soulmate there might be things that you don't know about okay so and look what fell on the floor sorry that fell on the floor that is the eight of wands news travel okay you I don't know uh, no other reading has had this but I'm going to put it on top so I'm going to see what's going to happen and usually everybody's had five cards but because this was on the floor I'm putting it in there look at news news the arrows are pointing towards you news is coming to you very very fast things lots of things might be happening all at once you might get that job you might get uh, this partnership whoa 
definitely your soulmate. You will realize you belong to each other if there is, has been a separation. So please don't despair at the beginning of the week. Love yourself. Start beaming out that love that you have within you. Show what you are because the truth is going to come out big time and there is going to be somebody that will help you to get to the truth and to the core of the business. Wow. So don't worry. It all ends well and is well and ends well. You've got number eight of life. Time to try something new. Learn new skills. Pay attention to small details. There you go. Pay attention to small details. Okay? That could be because you didn't pay attention to small details. To give more time to your loved ones. That's why you grew apart. Perhaps you were too obsessed with working, working, working. Trying to reach the top. Trying to make ends meet. Perhaps because you didn't have a job, but now you are, you've got into action, you took the action, and you, um, you sold your skills. So now the offers are flying in. Eight of them, nine of them, perhaps ten of them. But if you do feel depressed, heavily depressed, then seek help. Try something new learn new skills perhaps perhaps sharpen your skill that's the sword because the queen the ace of wands also means perhaps a new course or a new study but the ace isn't here but the queen is and she is inquisitive and she makes sure that she learns all there is to know so that she can cut straight through to the core and get to the truth get the information perhaps you need more information with regards to your skill there is recovery so don't worry Leo this is beautiful I hope you've enjoyed this um, reading and learn from it and learn from the past don't repeat what happened in the past and don't walk around with a broken heart go and seek help I wish you all the best and learn that we all have our ups and downs in our life pay attention to small details try something new what I'm also getting is um, there might be choices okay know the ingredients when you're baking a cake for instance so know the details in your trade something is coming towards you very fast and you'll get news this news will be cyber news most probably this could come through text message telephone call or an email wow I can sit here and it's magic how it grows. Okay. Take care. Be blessed and stay safe. And I wish you well. Ciao, ciao.